Hey chums, it's CA and welcome back again to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to be a part of this family, then you can just click the subscribe button down below. So today is Monday and it's food edition day, so I'm going to be sharing you a recipe that I guess most of you probably know already, but you do not usually cook it at home. So it's called pork stew. Yes, pork stew. So yes, kakaligo ko para fresh. Uy, gusto mo yan. I actually made a research on how they actually prepare or cook this pork stew. Kasi may kanya kanya tayong um, version, di ba? But I've seen that almost all the uh, videos on YouTube have actually similarities on the ingredients and the procedure and how to prepare it. So today I'm gonna be making my own version of pork to you know it's always good to give a twist sa mga niluluto natin kasi there are no rules in cooking actually you just add in everything that you like to add in there mga spices na gusto you just add in there whatever makes you happy okay whatever makes you happy just do it i hope you i hope you like it i hope you try it at home since we are under the enhanced community quarantine because of this covid outbreak so, let's start! Para sa ating lutuin sa araw na ito, kakailangan ay natin ng minced garlic, aluya or ginger, white onion, chopped white onion. Kung wala naman kayong white onion, you can just use the red onion. Kamatis or tomatoes. Green peas. Pwede yung canned green peas. Pwede rin yung lulutuin nyo. Chopped carrots. Kakailanganin din natin ng flour. Cooking oil or kung meron kayong butter, then you can just use butter. Paminta or black pepper. And oyster sauce. Of course, the meat. So, I already seasoned this um, meat. Ano, medyo matigas-tigas siya, kaya sinison ko siya with salt and some spices. Kaya siya medyo nagtutubig-tubig na. Kaya kailangan natin siyang strain para maalis po yung kanyang tubig-tubig. The first step is to coat the meat with flour. Coat-coat nyo lang siyang ganyan para ano, um, this will add actually to the um, thickness of the sauce later on. After which, I just prepare no, the pan for the frying of the meat. I changed my mind. Nagamit na pala ako ng butter. Tutunawin lang natin yung butter and then we evenly distribute it sa pan. Then, ilalagay na natin yung karne. So, if fry lang natin siya dyan, hayaan natin siyang ma-fry dyan hanggang maging um, golden brown. So, tatakpan natin and then we just let it cook until the meat becomes tender. Then, pagkaraan ng ilang minuto, atin na pong halo-haloin at nang sa ganon ay maluto rin po yung mga ibang um, bahagi po ng karne. So, kapag siya ay naging golden brown, na pwede na natin siyang hanguin mula sa palayok. At kung nakikita nyo yung parang brown na uh, nakadikit dun sa pan, it's okay. So, it will add taste later on dun sa sauce natin. Hayaan nyo lang siya dyan. Huwag nyo siyang tatanggalin kasi mamaya naman kapag um, meron na siyang sauce, yan yung pagpapalasa. Okay, so ilalagay na natin ngayon yung ating bawang, luya, at sibuyas. At igigisa lang natin yan hanggang maging translucent yung ating sibuyas. And actually, you don't have to really um, burn yung uh, tawag nito. 
yung garlic kasi usually di ba parang medyo sinusunog natin siya ng konti so actually um, well at the same there are no rules in cooking pero kapag kasi totally sinunog na siya mawawala na yung aroma niya later on so hindi dapat siya um, sinusunog talaga yung garlic and then let's just add flour just to thicken the sauce later and then halu-haluin mo lang siya ulit na ganyan Lalagyan na natin siya ngayon ng hot water. Tapos halong-haluin mo lang din siya ulit hanggang sa yung parang dumikit dun sa pan kanina na galing sa karne ay um, maalis siya dun sa pan. Kasi yun yung magpapalasa sa sauce. Hayaan na natin siyang kumulo. Yun! Kumukulo na! Naaamoy mo na ba? Mmm! Pagka bango-bango! Nate, kumukulo na. Okay, para magkalas ang ating lutuin, dalagyan natin ngayon ng pork nor cubes. Tapos, hayaan mo lang siyang matunaw dyan. Nang sa ganun, magkalas ang ating sauce. Lalagyan na natin ngayon ng tomato sauce. Konti lang. Tapos, ilalagay na din natin ang ating oyster sauce. Yes, nakasashay na lang ang ating oyster sauce kasi ubus na ang ating oyster sauce na nakabote. Yes, wala nang mabili. Kaya, sashay na lang tayo muna. Yes, ang bango. Hmm, napakabango. Kapag kakumulo na at namoy muna ang pinaghalo-halong ingredients, ilagay na po natin ang kamatis. Tapos, pakuloon mo lang din siya. Hayaan mo siyang kumulo dyan. Para maluto muna konti ang ating kamatis. So, yan. Just let it simmer for at least 5 minutes. Yes! Ilalagay na po natin ang ating pork. Yes, lagay mo lang yan, te. Sige, buhos. Yun! At tapos, ihalo-halo mo lang siya, te. Hanggang sa maging malambot po yung karne. Since um, native pork po yung ginamit ko dito, medyo mas matigas kasi siya dun sa um, pork chop na nabibili po sa palengke. So, um, hinayan ko muna siyang um, lumambot bago ko po nilagay, bago ko po iligay yung um, carrots and green peas. Ayan, so napalambot ko na yung karne, kaya ilalagay na po natin ang carrots. So, tatakpan muna natin siya and hayaan muna natin siyang maluto ng ilang minuto. Ayan, so tatakpan lang muna natin siya dyan and hayaan natin maluto yung carrots. Nate, ayan nate, kumukulo na! Yes! Kumukulo na siya, ayan na! Mm. Nagmumoist na ang ating takip. So, yung, ibig sabihin talagang as in, naluluto na yung karne at yung carrots. Ayan, so hayan mo lang siyang maluto. Be patient, okay? Be patient in cooking para naman yung ating niluluto ay talagang maluto. Ano, kung gutom na gutom ka, aba eh, magnat-nyat ka muna dyan ng pinapay o ng kahit na anong biskwit. Ayan, so pwede na. Luto na ang ating carrots, medyo malambot na. Huwag namang yung masyadong palambutin yung carrots Mawawala po yung lasa niya. So, ilalagay na po natin ang green peas. Canned green peas po yung gamit natin dito. So, malambot na po ito. Hindi na natin kailangan pa siyang isimmer ng pagkatagal-tagal para lumambot. Now, let's sprinkle a generous amount of sugar. Just to give a little bit of sweetness sa ating niluluto. Haluin mo, te! Ganyan. Sige, halo. Sige, haluin mo. Hmm, diba? As you notice, um, medyo thick yung kanyang sauce. Now, if, if you can see, medyo parang similar yung itsura niya sa menudo. But no, this is not menudo. This is called pork stew. I just added a simple twist. 
um, yung twist actually na ginawa ko is pag um, yung corks to kasi hindi naman nila kailangang um, lagyan ng flour yung um, yung sauce o kaya i-coat ng flour yung meat bago nila i-fry yung iba hindi na actually nila pina-fry yung ano uh, parang diretso na nilang ginigisa but ako parang gusto ko kasi um, thick yung sauce and then yung aroma ng ating spices is mas mas maamoy mo or para mas malasa siya, mas malasa siya. So, separate na um, free na natin yung pork and then bago natin siya um, tawag nito, bago natin iginis sa yung luya, bawang at sibuyas. Kasi for me, I, I like to cook first the sauce bago ko ilagay yung meat para mas magmix yung ingredients niya. Hindi po ito minudo, okay? Pork stew po ito, te. If you are cooking pork stew and you are also cooking menudo, you should know the difference. Ayan, Tess. So, kumukulo na talaga siya and mm, naamoy na natin ang kanyang bango. Ang sarap. And we're almost done but for me, I would sprinkle muna chili flakes. Yan, so tapos na. Yes. Gutom ka na ba, Teh? Tikman na natin. Yes naman, may pa plating. Well, you can just serve it in whatever way you want. There are also no rules in serving. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. That's it guys! I hope you enjoyed our recipe for today and I hope you'd also try this at home if you haven't tried it yet. As I said, there are no rules in cooking so if you already have your own version of this recipe then that's good, that's okay. But this is my own version of pork stew, version of pork stew so I hope you like it and if you want to try it, then try it! Yung mga recipe na alam niyo na on how to cook them differently, um, how to give them a twist, you just uh, so hit subscribe and also click the bell button beside it to keep updated with my latest vlogs especially on food edition if you want to keep updated with my food um, edition vlogs and also I um, upload um, anything edition vlogs every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next time. Bye!